it's not a medication discussion in 2024 without a mention of GLP-1 agonists. Hey, there it is. There it is. So as we've really hammered home, uh, there's uh, they're everywhere. Yep. So with that, you should understand the the not only the positives but also. Uh, what can occur, especially in the early stages of using the medication. Not to be scared from it, but it uh, is worth understanding. So the most common side effects when starting uh, are these GI side effects, of course, that we've mentioned. So nausea, diarrhea, and constipation, potentially. So uh, depending on which sort of end of the spectrum there that you fall on there there are some there are some different things that I suppose you can you can try um but firstly with nausea hey i i don't know that there's a whole lot that you can can do at the outset with trying to prevent nausea i mean you can say try to try to stay hydrated try to consume your normal amount of fluids on a daily basis i don't think that overdoing it is going to prevent the the nausea from occurring mm. Uh, you know, there's not a real special plan of attack there, unfortunately. The GI issue, these are these are an example of it kind of doing its job a little too well, at least initially, right? Sure. Yeah. As we know that the, you know, the delayed gastric emptying is a side effect on one hand and also, you know, part of why it works so well in, in that it slows the transit of, you know, the normal transit of food throughout the the GI tract. So, okay. so in managing that, I, uh, I don't know how evidence-based this is at this point, but we suggest, or we, I've heard others suggest eating smaller meals to, you know, to start to come, you know, start to try to be better prepared for what can occur. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think that individuals notice a pretty stark reduction in their appetite shortly after using it. So I don't know if there's a huge risk with starting to eat smaller meals, especially as you try to mitigate some of the side effect risks. Uh, I think that, um, is, is certainly a logical response. I know I mentioned fluid intake, but I also don't think that overdoing it with fluids makes a whole lot of sense too, because individuals quickly can find themselves on the constipation end of the spectrum, unfortunately. Um, and so, with that, it's tr trying to eat more and more and drink more and more doesn't bode well in, the, in that circumstance. Yeah. What, and also sort of, um, you know, off the cuff recommendation, consider the foods or the restaurants or the patterns that you eat that are more or less likely to cause some GI upset for you. So if you love getting ice cream at, every other night, like I do. Um, and, it, and it's, there's a little bit of a trade-off with how, how you respond to it from yeah. a GI perspective. Yep. Maybe that's something that you put on pause as you're starting a medication like this with that, that already has an inherent potential for some of those issues. Um, in the same sense that I notice when I am eating more at restaurants versus what I'm cooking here at home, some of that some of those GI, these similar GI issues start to arise. So if you find yourself in that, in that camp, maybe for the first two, three, four weeks, the majority of your meals are something that you have more control over. There's not a ton of oils in them. It's not, they're not overly, you know, fatty dishes. Um, and that's not to say that you stop enjoying yourself, but at the same time, again, we just see so much of this occur in, in those earlier stages, controlling a handful of those variables can be helpful yeah. to smaller, more frequent meals, meals that you know exactly what's going in them, avoiding some of the foods that are for you more likely to, to upset the, the apple cart, so to speak. Yeah. The, the point is, is that even a saying upset mm -hmm. the apple cart? Oh, sweet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You did good. Thanks. Uh, the <laughs> no, the, the point is these are common side effects and, mm -hmm. and we're trying to make people aware and help them know how to mitigate them so that they can get the help they need. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.